Hello, today I show you how to use Christmas lights for the show of action and here is some of the results that you can make with this action. Okay, here is original photo. Then you need to paint the area where you want to focus. And you need to paint the area where you want to add the Christmas lights effect. On this image, the Christmas lights uh, will be on these uh, yellow lights. So the yellow lines is the second area. And here is the result. Another example, original photo, first area, second area, and the result. Okay, and firstly some recommendations for optimal use of action. Use a good quality pictures. I recommend using a photo with a resolution of at least 3000 pixels and more. For some images with very big objects like a track or a house, I use the resolution 5000 and 6000 pixels on the long side. If you use a photo with too small resolution, just open your photo and go to the image, image size, and just change width or height value. Okay, and before your section, you need to do the steps. First step, make sure that using the English version of Photoshop. And if you use version with another language, watch the video how to change the language. The link under this video. Second step, go to image, mod, and check the RGB color and add bits channel. And last step, just for CS5, and high versions, click on menu icon at the right and check the add copy to copy layers and groups. Okay, that's all. Now, how to use action. First, open your photo and one more important thing. Your photo need to have the background view. So, if your photo have this layer view, you need to select the photo, then go to the layer, new, and just select the background from layer. Now it's OK. The next step, open the brushes file, for that go to the edit, press it, press it manager, and press it type select brushes, click load, then go to a download folder and just open Christmas light brushes file. OK, click done. Next step, open the patterns file, for that go to the edit, press it, press it manager, but now in press it type select the patterns, Click load, go to the download folder again, and just open Christmas lights patterns file. Okay, click done. And the next step, open the action file. For that, go to the window, actions, click on menu icon at the right, click load actions, go to the download folder last time, and just open Christmas lights for the shop action file. Okay, that's done. Next step, create a new layer and name it area. And please don't use the caps lock. Now you need to paint on this uh, layer the area where you want to focus. For that you can use brush tool, you can use a quick selection tool or magic wand tool and also you can use some of lesser tools. Uh, for this image I'm going to use quick selection tool.
So now we just need to fill this selection using the paint bucket tool. You can use any colors. So the area is done now. And the next step, go to the actions panel. If you close the actions panel, go to the window, actions, find the Christmas light for the show of action uh, folder in the actions list. Open the folder with section, open the action and please select the action and click play. But before you will click play, please select the brush tool and make sure that the opacity and flow values of brush tool and the normal mode is selected. Okay, click play. And now a uh, message from Photoshop. Now we need to draw in where you want to see Christmas lights. This step shows in a video tutorial. Paint only on layer area 2. Use selected brush with 5 pixel diameter. Uh, when you will finish paint the area, please press play button to continue click stop. Okay, now click stop and paint where you want to add the Christmas lights effect. Please note that the brush tool is already selected and the diameter of the brush is 5 pixels. So you don't need to change the type of brush and the diameter of brush. You just can change the color of brush. Let's change to blue. And let's paint the second area. Also, don't forget to make sure that the opacity and flow of brush tool is 100% and the normal mode is selected. Okay, the second area is done and now you need to click play. Now wait a few minutes that Photoshop make all actions and the speed of action work depends on the power of your computer. I'm going to scroll this step. Okay, and when action finishes work, you can edit and improve the final result. And now I show you how to make this. But firstly, I want to show you how to close all folders. Now you can see that all folders is opened. So to close all folders, just click and hold Ctrl plus Alt case combination and please uh, close the main folder. Okay, now you can see that all folders inside the main folders is closed. So let's start to edit the final composition. The final composition contains many folders. It's background elements, your object elements, night layers, lights on object colors, wire elements, Christmas light colors, particles in the air and more brightness, 10 color effects and color and color settings of all image. So let's start from background elements. This folder contains the background color so if you hide the original background, uh, you can change the background color. But uh, please note, if you use the background color, you need to make visible your original area layer. And now you can see how to change the color of background. Next layer is original background. Also, you can combine the original background and the background color. Just change for that the opacity. Next folder is shadow from object. This folder contains four layers with shadow. 
these uh, shadows very useful for some types of the photos so you can combine the shadows you can move these shadows transform scale or rotate very useful for some types of images original area and dark tone on the ground and also in some case uh, you can move this original area layer uh, to the top of dark tones on the ground and in some types of photo uh, it's improve the final result so I recommend to experiment with this next folder it's add original colors to background layers and this folder contains two layers with original colors you can erase some space of uh, this layer using the layer mask just select the layer mask, select the brush tool with a black color and just paint where you want to erase. Let's little erase this color layer. Okay, same with the next layer. And also this folder contains add one colors to background layer. Uh, I will show you how to use this uh, folder a little later. The next folder is your object elements. This folder contains only one layer. It's your object layer. And let's uh, change the brightness and contrast of this layer. It looks nice next folder it's very important folder it's night layers this folder contains four uh, layers and adjustment it's shadow frame brightness and contrast photo filter and hue saturation layer you can edit the mask of this folder in two ways First way, just select the brush tool with uh, black or white color and just paint with black color where you want to erase uh, the night layers. And if you change the color to white, uh, you add more night layers on this place. And the second way to edit the mask of this night layers folder is just select the mask and go to the image adjustments and select the brightness and contrast adjustment and just move the brightness or contrast sliders the next folder it's light on object colors very important Folder. This folder contains multicolor light on object layers. You can also use the layer masks if you want to erase some space of this uh, light effect. Select the layer mask with black color and just paint where you want to erase the light effect. To make visible, paint using the white color. Also, you can duplicate these uh, layers. Just select the layer, go to the layer, duplicate layer, 
and now you can see more lights. Let's edit the layer mask. Okay, now looks nice. Also, this light on object colors contains one color light on object layers. I will show you how to use this folder a little later. And the next folder is wire elements. This folder contains shadow of wire, uh, wire and lamp. And you can change the colors of the wire and lamp it's very easy also you can edit the mask of this folder if you want to erase some space of this uh, wire and lamp layers. It's also very easy. And the last folder in this uh, wire elements folder, it's white tones on wire. You can also use the mask of this folder to erase or make visible some of parts of these uh, white tones. Okay, the next folder is Christmas lights colors. This folder contains also multicolor lights less and one color lights less and two less with uh, white light tones. You can also erase some space of the multicolor lights layers using the layer masks. The next folder it's uh, particles in the air and more brightness. This folder contains more brightness layer and three layers with uh, particles and also uh, like in all my actions 10 color effects and color and contrast settings of all image it's uh, brightness and contrast of all image add color tone to all image adjustment uh, black and white composition, add photo filter to all image, hue and saturation of all image, and add gradient to all image. So, and now I want to show you how to change the colors of multicolor light effect. Let's change from Christmas lights colors folder. You can hide the lights on object colors and uh, background elements. Go to the multicolor light layers. You can also hide the first and second layers with uh, multicolor light. And then uh, select the hue and saturation of multicolor light 3, make double click, and just move the hue slider. Now you can see that uh, the colors is uh, changing. Okay, I like these colors. Uh, and now you need to remember this uh, number, plus uh, 63. You can copy this number, make visible first and second multicolor light layers, and change the colors of second layer, and change the color of first layer. Okay, now all multicolor light layers is uh, changed. Let's change the light on object colors. 
go to the multicolor light on object layers and change these uh, three adjustment using this number. And the last step, go to the ground elements folder, go to the add original colors and change these two layers. Okay, let's little change the layer mask. Also, you can add more lights. Okay, that's done. Let's add one of ten color effects. You can change the opacity. Here is result. Looks nice. And now I want to show you how to add the one color light effect. Now we have a multicolor light effect. So let's add the one color light effect. Let's start from Christmas lights colors. Hide the multicolor light layers folder and make visible one color light layers. Let's change this uh, light color to maybe blue. Also, go to the uh, lights on object color folders. Hide the multicolor light on object layers and make visible one color light on object layers. And change these three colors too. And make the same with background elements folder. Hide the add original colors to background layers and make visible add one colors to background layers folder. Change this red colors to blue. And also let's edit the layer mask. Okay, now looks good. So now you can see that we changed the multicolor light effect to one color light effect. It's so easy. And here is the difference. Now you just save. And also uh, I want to show you uh, one more example with this uh, red track. Here is parameter PSD file with uh, area and second area layers. So, uh, 
Now I just need to select the brush tool and make sure that the opacity and flow of brush tool is 100% and the normal mode is selected. Okay, that's, that's good. Uh, go to the actions panel. And now in my case, uh, when, when the area and the second area already done, I just need to select the next step after the stop step and click play. Now also wait a few minutes and I'm scroll this step. Okay, and now action finish work. The result uh, looks good, but I want to show you uh, how to change the multicolor to one color effect. So let's change the Christmas lights color firstly. Let's change these uh, colors to orange and yellow. Okay, then go to the light on object colors, hide the multicolor light on object layers and make visible one color light on object layers folder. Let's change these three colors. Okay, and also let's edit the layer mask of this uh, layer. Okay, looks nice. And the next step, go to the background elements folder, hide the add original colors to background layers and make visible the add one colors to background layers. Let's change this color. Also, let's edit the layer mask. And also let's edit the mask of the night layers folder. Okay, and the last step, uh, let's add the one of 10 color effects. And here is result. Looks nice. Now you just save. Thanks for watching and Merry Christmas and Happy New Year.